Hello, I'm Atsubo George and I'm here with my beautiful wife. Gloria, George. And we are so excited to bring God's word to you again today. today. Praise God. Hallelujah. Before we go into today's, what we'll have to share with you today, because we have a lot to <laughs> share with you. Can we call for that daily bread? I remember what I told you yesterday. Angels are around you. Yeah. And they are waiting to hear you make this demand. Mm. So join us right now and say, Father. Father. I demand right now. I demand right now. For my daily for bread. For my daily bread. It's coming to me now. It's coming to me now. In Jesus name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Now continue from yesterday. Now, this is a very crucial part. And, yeah. and please bear with us as we take it in details. Because every part of it uh, is important. And because we're, 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 we're bringing out our lives to you. And I pray that the Spirit of God will minister to your heart Amen. in the area of need. Now, you may, you, may not, you may not be in need of childbirth, mm. you know. Maybe something, maybe finances, your business, your health. But, but pick the lessons from what we're sharing with you. And let the Lord bring forth truth and explanation into your heart. Mm. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, so you were telling me about your part in that. Yes, yes, yes. So after I had that, you know, like I was going through all these thoughts in my mind because, you know, I also have an understanding that your God talks to you. Thoughts also come through your yeah. mind. The, the devil also talks. So you're, you have a choice to make and the voice to retain mm -hmm. and the one to discard. So even after we prayed and all of that, you know, at the end of the month, or when my period the cycle is yeah, when yeah. the cycle is you and all of that and you see your period i will be like oh my god when you know like when mm -hmm. and when and then when i had that experience of you know a friend just saying ah not yet like i said i didn't conclude that she meant bad but because i was going through and i wasn't really talking to everybody about what i was going through because you also have to be sensitive not to just be talking too much about what you're going through yes. so that you can only hear God and not hear too many voices. I I I took it in. I said, don't worry, you will see it. So when I got home that day after church, I just went down on my knees and I said, God, this is your fight. This is your fight. Because the the words of the doctors. We've had two reports yeah, you, now. You have that face it in is, you. Yes. You, uh, see, I, sometimes I see the pictures of the scan. I the, see, the challenge is always in your mind. Yes. I see the, the, the size of the fibroid that it was taking space. It was really big. And then we really didn't have any go ahead from God to even go remove it because they had said no, we, we should go see, and remove it. We wouldn't it. have done yes. that without God instructions. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So this is your body going through all these processes. And I was still having this pain. You know when now, you know the, sometimes sometimes it's um, it's not easy. Now now we, we we smile over it, but it's different from that time when you're going through mm -hmm. the situation. Mm -hmm. You know sincerely. Yeah. But then you are in between suffering this pain or taking it out. Yeah. On anybody. No, when I mean going to the to the doctor to take okay, out the, the fibroid. Fibro. Yeah. Okay. You know so. You are in between that. I, I mean, why don't we just take this thing out? Mm, mm. Why why don't we just? But then you know the truth. Now, cause cause of how we've structured our, our lives, lives, God has to instruct we can't, us. It's too risky. Yeah, it's too risky to mm. go say, doctors, mm. take this thing out. Mm. It's too risky mm. because one, we know we have an adversary, the devil, mm. who's looking. He he's just looking around for Seeking what one, how to yeah. get to and pounds. the only way we defeat him is when we walk surrounded by God's power exactly. and his, his glory. Yes. And the only way you can be surrounded by God's power in, in anything that you do yeah. is when his word has come. And then you hold on to his word. So that's what we endure. Like mm. the Bible says, endure hardness. Mm -hmm. So we endure waiting yeah. for him to tell us what to do. Exactly. Not because we are careless. Mm -hmm. Take note of that. Because sometimes we say, why don't you go check this thing? No, I don't want to. You know, sometimes you already you already sense that something is wrong. Mm -hmm. And he says, why don't you go check it? No, 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 I don't want to go. I don't. Mm -hmm. And and now you're not going. 
You're saying, God, whatever it is, God will heal me. Mm-hmm. You don't even know what it is you want to request, request for from healing. the Lord. You have to be specific, yeah. And, and, and also understanding that sometimes you need to come face to face with the with challenge. The challenge and so that it. God will give you the specific wisdom you need. Exactly. Ignoring it will not do the miracle. Mm-mm. And then the fear will still be there. The fear will still it will be heart. haunting you. Yes. Because you'll be hearing a voice. Mm-hmm. Oh, you have cancer. Mm. Oh, you have this. Mm. <laughs> no, mm. no, no. Why don't you go? No. You start what praying and binding. I bind. I cast. It might, might be nothing. It might be something else. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. sometimes, rise up, confront your fears, yeah. knowing that he say, he say, I will never leave you. Not I will forsake never you. forsake you. Mm-hmm. Now, why is it with you? To tell you what, what to, to do. do. Yeah. And that's our confidence. Yeah. He will tell us what, what to do. do. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. So that's how I went before the Lord. I just knelt down. I said, God, I, you see, all these cares that is coming on me right now, I cast it. I am not going to worry yeah. about whether I'm going to have a child or not. And then I'm not going to be afraid because the fear was there. My heart went through all sorts of thoughts i went through processes thank god for my husband i was always you know right there to reinforce the word of god to me yeah. i went through all sorts in my mind i love children i love to work with children i could not imagine not having my own yeah. you understand so after i prayed that prayer the lord gave me one to psalm 122 because i like i'm not gonna get upset i'm not going to get worried i'm not going to to quarrel with anything or with anyone i'm not even going to get angry at myself because remember that guilt thought will still be coming i'm not even going to get angry at myself i'm just going to rest and know that god will give me my own children and he gave me psalm 122 and 128 a man that fears the lord his wife will sit fat on his table and their children will surround them round about Mm. I said, aha. Uh-huh. Sometimes you see these scriptures, but when the Lord gives it to you personally, it becomes <coughs> your scripture. Yeah, yeah, true. So I was like, okay, God, thank you. You've given me a husband that fears you. So I am qualified to be this woman that is dwelling fat in her husband's house. Not one child will sit on our table. Our children, children. will surround us round about our table. Let me read. Uh, let me read the scripture. Yeah. You know, so you you would understand. It says, oh, "Bless." Let me start from verse one. Mm. It says, "Bless is everyone who fears the, the Lord, Lord, who walks in His ways." Mm. Now that's what we're doing. Mm. Walking. In, what does it mean to walk in His ways? Mm. Waiting for His word mm. for everything that you do. Mm. When you eat the labor of your hands, you shall be happy, and it shall be well with, with you. you. Your, your wife. wife shall be like a fruitful vine mm. in, in the, the very heart, heart of, of your, your house. house. That translation I read was sit fat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your okay. children like olive plants all around, around your, your table. table. Now, this is not mm. just saying you will have children. Yeah. This saying your children are going to be fruitful. Yes. Because olive, olive plants produces yeah. some. So yeah. you're not going to have a a, 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 I don't know what to call it now. <laughs> children that that's that are nothing to write home about. Exactly. No, all your children say, mm. Look at this. It, your children like olive plants mm. all around, around your, your table. table. Proceed, please. Behold, thus shall the man be who blessed. F- who fears Behold, the Lord. thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. Mm. This is how that's what it means. It says, Behold, thus, thus means this is how. This is how. His life will be. One who fears God. Yes. This is how his life. Yes. So that was my confidence. This man fears the Lord. (coughs) And his wife. Our children. Now that's why ladies. Ladies, marry a man who fears the Lord. Mm. There is. I remember talking to um, a, a young man. No, I was talking to the bride 
and his 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 parents were ministers. Okay. So I was talking to the bride. That was before they got married. Okay. And I said to her, I said, "Listen, you need to understand who you're getting married to. This guy is the seed of a man who fears the Lord. So there are promises God has given." consigning him whether he knows it or, or he not. doesn't know it mm. as long as his parents mm. truly feared the lord mm. Mm. there are certain things that have been promised and i want you to hold on to those words in your heart exactly and it will help you exactly you understand so mm. so, so, so listen not just a oh, preacher it's not just a preacher no a, a preacher who fears the lord, the lord. Mm. So marry a man who fears God. There is, there are so many. Now, now here is it. Say God just showed her a scripture. Yeah. You know, saying mm. the man who fears the Lord. Mm. And then she looked and was like, my husband fears the Lord. Mm. Ah. I'm, at I'm at rest. And then also this, the, the word that the Lord gave you, ask for children. Yeah. So that their, names, their names are in the book of life. These olive plants round about your table. Your children. Yeah. So these are children that God, God is gave. giving to you. Yeah. So their lives cannot even be ordinary. Very true. So when you now ask him, it's like this is the scripture. Then we are now asking God for these for children. For these children. Sir. Praise To God. surround our table. So, can I continue, right? I was okay. at rest okay. at that point. And I told myself, you know what? I'm not going to worry about this yeah. anymore. That was for me. That was the end of bombarding heaven. Because that time, anytime I prayed, <laughs> Father, my children, <laughs> I remember, <laughs> I remember one time you teased me that anytime you hear me praying, you will feel like just bringing the children and putting it to my womb because you were just feeling sorry for me and wondering why I cannot just allow this thing be. Yeah, you know, because I was so angry. You know, yes. you know, that's the thing. Now, now, listen. Jesus said, He that seeks mm. will find. Yeah. We were not seeking children. Mm. We know we will have children. Mm. We were seeking the word yeah. that will bring the children. the children. Yeah. Take note of these things we're sharing. Mm. Now, so when are we going to have these children? I'm going to know when the word comes. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're, we're just... Now, that's why I was at peace. Yeah. Because number one, I know I hear God. And I'm not going to force him mm. to tell me anything. Mm. No. I have expressed my desire. He, he told us what to do. The last information we received from him mm. was to ask him for children whose names are written in the book. Oh, and yeah. we have done so. Yeah. So when you when you ask for something what do you do wait for you the wait receiving for it. Wait. yes yes and and as a wife too and and husbands as well after you've spoken to your wife as a woman still take those words before the lord and make it your own your own yeah because you will still go through your own battle you cannot and it just is say the word yes it's, that came to you directly that you that will, will keep you and then husband to be patient with your wife. Didn't we talk to God about it? Why are you? Why are you crying? Why are you? Then strife is a killer. Oh, strife Confusion. is a killer. Yeah. Every evil work will come forth with that. And then the husband starts thinking, it is your doubt. Uh -huh. All this worry you're doing is because it's, you doubt exactly. God. That's why we have not had yet. Exactly. <laughs> you know, so praise God. Exactly. So moving on from there, one day, you know, we had woken up and then we are supposed to pray because we're staying in, in a duplex there mm. and i had come downstairs someone was in the house mm. with to us to call everybody for prayer so we're yeah. supposed to have this morning, morning prayer yeah so i was sitting on the table waiting for my wife to come down and join us so while we're waiting i heard the word of the lord now this is funny <laughs> but <laughs> but true <laughs> I was sitting down, waiting for her to come downstairs. And then I heard the word of the Lord, very clear and direct. If you want to have children, go make love to your wife now. now. That's what I heard. Now, this didn't happen in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. This happened. Now, you see. <laughs> now, now. 
we told we're going to be very plain with you. So I heard that word clear. Now, remember, I was sitting on this table and we're waiting for, we're, we're about to start morning devotion. And I, 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 I'm always very judicious <laughs> about morning prayers. <laughs> always good. You understand? Yes. And, and, but the Lord said, now. He didn't say today. Is he said now. Now. Mm -hmm. now? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Praise God. I left that table and I went upstairs. And of course, you know. <laughs> and I'll tell you the truth. When we were done, I told my wife, you are pregnant. Mm. And I remember like, how do you know? I said, check out. <laughs> now, why? Because the word of the Lord Came. said, mm -hmm. if you want her to get pregnant, now, now is, is the, the time. time. And because the word cannot mm -hmm. fail. Mm -hmm. And I acted promptly, or we acted promptly. Now, could I say, ah, I bind that mm -hmm. voice. We want to pray. Prayer time. This is time to pray. Ah. So let mm -hmm. us wait after prayer. After prayer. Now you would lose the timing. Mm -hmm. Didn't God know wanted to pray? Who, who, who are we praying to in the first place? <laughs> <laughs> they want, they want your prayer. It's like, no, it's like your boss gives you, you, you know you're supposed to resume work at say 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. And that's a standard practice in your office by 8 a.m. And then your boss calls you at quarter past seven. You understand? I said, sorry, where I say, you know, say, please, I need you to help me go do this and do this and do this. And I say, okay, sir. And then you now say, ah, but I have to resume work at eight. Let mm -hmm. me go to the to the mm -hmm. office first. Then you now come to the office and do, you know, then the boss now meets you. They say, ah, what are you doing? Have you done this? And say, no, sir. You know, I have to resume work first. <laughs> It'd be a very silly stuff. <laughs> then that's what that's what Solomon said don't be righteous over much don't be over righteous because you will destroy yourself exactly so the word of the Lord came and I acted I went to my wife I said look this is it and then I told her look you know what you are pregnant mm -hmm. and brothers and sisters that month and, and this was just the the like i think some weeks or the the previous month i had just told myself you know what i roll all the care i roll all the care i don't want to worry about this again then anytime the pressure would come i'll just play music and i'll start dancing yeah then in my mind i'll start envisaging how i was going to go dedicate my baby you know so i did things to keep myself in check to keep myself in joy yeah. and while holding onto the word of god i even started buying books anytime i see stuff about children yeah. i'll just start buying it you know and keeping it oh i'll even like ah baby see this we're going to give this to our children yeah. and all of that so i was just at rest and at that point you know i just want to throw a little bit of trusting the leadership of your husband he could have come and i was like i'm not ready we have to pray you know i have to cook da -da 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 be sensitive be submissive trust if you know that you're not going to trust the person that you're married you're going to why, get married to why go? just don't bother yeah because there are certain times a man that fears the lord there are certain times that the instructions that will come from them it will not be it normal will, it will make it will it make will normal make sense, sense at that moment there are, yes yeah. there are several times that my husband has come and just said let's go let's leave it and now it will not be logical but by the spirit of god because i also recognize that voice you have to learn to also recognize the voice of god in your husband yeah. because he has it to your you know we keep talking about your working relationship with god, god. because it will resonate in your spirit beyond what you can comprehend and that's what will make you trust yeah. like okay yes sir you know and then when you submit and then carry out what the Lord is saying. There is a flow from heaven. Whatever it is. See, the submission does a great deal of miracle. Yeah. Because sometimes even as wife, you think you know better than your, your husband. husband. Now, as long as you see that your husband is godly, mm. 
and he may not know all the scriptures. Mm -hmm. He may not, but you know his heart. He yes, God. Yes, yes. Before, before God. Yes. Oh, dear Lord. Be a you see, you've got to trust God in him. Mm -hmm. You've got to trust God in him. Mm -hmm. And trust God that God will not let him Make lead you as you. Yes, yes. Very important. So that's why first and foremost, you must be conscious to submit yourself to a man who fears the, the Lord. Lord. Like I said, mm. not the, the man who fears the Lord is not the one who goes to church. Mm. You must look at this man's life, his mm. character, mm. his decision making. Yeah. Can you sense that he fears God? It, it, just like you say, young ladies, for example, there must be this aura of authority mm. around your life. Yeah. And anybody who comes around you must sense, sense it. it. Either your parents, or uh, as a married woman too there must be the aura of, of your of, husband, of your husband yeah. around you even yeah. if he's not there yeah you know not just that you're wearing a ring mm -hmm. and it's something that you yes you, you create, you create it. it someone is talking you to you you know it. let's do this let's say okay Let fine. Me talk I'll, I'll talk to my husband yeah. about it mm -hmm. or okay i'll talk to my dad about it mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. that's how you reason mm -hmm. And if you're not yet married, I'll talk to God about it. Because sometimes... No, God, no, you know, God is your father. Yes. And then he, he also will put um, this authority, authority around, yes, you. around you. Yeah. He will do that. It will save you a great... A young lot. ladies, it a will lot. save you a lot. Mm. I'll tell you the truth about men. Wicked men now. They prey on, on young ladies... Who has no, no authority, no covering yeah. around them. Yeah. So they just feel they can do anything they, with you and get nobody, away. Nobody, yes. they are not questioning. Yeah. Nobody's going to question them. Yeah. You can't know, you, who are you going to complain to them? Mm -hmm. The person will just say, sorry, mm -hmm. it is well yeah. with you. Mm -hmm. But when a guy sees that your father's presence is strong in, in your, your life, life. Respect. He would respect you. Yeah. That's the truth. So learn this. So, that's what happened and i said you're pregnant mm -hmm. and then when it was time for your monthly this thing to come <laughs> you forgot how i used to check because i'm busy <laughs> 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 it's tricks. i remember and then i said what are you checking <laughs> you are <laughs> I, I said, I know, I see it the I want to see the physical evidence i want to check it and then the first day you know when I did, you know that line, the demarcation yeah, that shows yeah. I was broken. I was like, you know, sometimes it's not because you don't trust God. It's not because you don't believe what God said. But when you see the manifestation, you want to hold on to that testimony. Oh my goodness! Seed. Oh my goodness! But then, little did I know that there was still war ahead. Yeah, of course. So <laughs> now. The pregnancy journey started. Mm. Now, here was our confidence. This one has been given to us by, by God. Yeah. This one mm. is from the word of God. Mm. Now, what does that mean? Whatsoever is born of God mm. overcomes, overcomes the world. world. This pregnancy is not a natural one. We knew. It's not just a man and woman having sex and then normally, I mean, if a man is okay and a woman is okay, if you have sex, you have children. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that child came from God. Now, that's the truth. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, we knew this is a child that is born of God. So, we knew yes, now, we had had that first one go, and that the report is still there. So, you know, every week, I became a watchman over my wife. <laughs> and thank God, by this time, you know, I had resigned from work. Yes. So, and sometimes so. you don't even understand the wisdom of God, because if you know me closely, I love, being teaching is one of my happy places. Yeah. I love to work with children. So when the Lord told me shortly after we got married that I should resign, it, it wasn't logical. It didn't make sense to me. Oh, we're going all. to talk about that part. Yes, yes. It, <laughs> it didn't part. make sense to me at all. 
but i prayed the more i prayed about it the more convinced i got i also shared with you we prayed about it and then we got convinced and you know but then i didn't just want to leave just like that in the middle i, I was working in a, a prestigious school and this school loved me yeah. you know remember i talked and about you were the school secretary yes so. i yes, yes. <laughs> Not just. you know they remember i talked about their contribution to my wedding yeah. and all they were everywhere they you know, it was yeah. i didn't see that coming that was just going to leave just like that so i just i just told my boss you know what i'm just going to stay till the end of the session before i resign mm -hmm. so the, the first miscarriage happened while i was at work yeah. and then the whole process up to when i took it but then end of session had come like june yeah. july then i now mm -hmm. resigned and then when this you know, pregnancy came in. There was absolutely no reason for me to be hopping in and out or going out or something. Yeah. So it was really easy for you to be the mother hen over me at that <laughs> point. Down to what I was eating, I had, I had. It was a very dramatic first month. You know, we're going to talk about that <laughs> tomorrow because our time is up today. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, there are many hearts having great expectation mm. everyone watching right now believing god for one thing or the other it's time to release your faith amen lord you will visit them today amen in the name of the lord jesus christ amen that's which they have expected of you let them receive it today amen in jesus name amen amen, amen. God bless you, we'll see you tomorrow.